The world is asking how this happened. While we don't know what ignited it, the first and most basic answer to that question is ammonium nitrate. The Lebanese Prime Minister addressed the nation yesterday and spoke of 2,750 tons of the chemical sitting in a port warehouse for six years without safety measures. The facts will be revealed about this dangerous warehouse that has been there since 2014. Ammonium nitrate is a commonly used chemical in fertilizers and in explosives. It's an oxidizer, which means it can enhance combustion reactions. Although of itself it's hard to ignite, it detonates if it's exposed to extreme heat in a confined space. Also, if it's contaminated with things like salt water or fuel, for example, the reaction accelerates. Because it's an oxidizer, it needs to be kept away from any product that might provide a source of fuel in the event of a fire, because the ammonium nitrate would provide excess oxygen. So, what was thousands of tonnes of the stuff doing in a warehouse in Beirut for six years? The timings and tonnage match the arrival into port of a cargo ship. The Rosa sailed under a Moldovan flag. It left Georgia in October 2013 with a cargo of 2,750 tonnes of bulk ammonium nitrate. It was bound for Mozambique. En route, it ran into technical difficulties and the captain decided to reroute to Beirut for repairs. It's understood that the port authorities there inspected the vessel, deemed her unfit to sail, and the ship was held at port. After that, attempts to contact the owners and our charterers failed and the ship was deemed abandoned. The cargo was taken off the boat and placed in storage because of a legal wrangle over the cargo's ownership. This letter, dated just three years ago, is being reported in the Lebanese media as coming from an official who is demanding a decision of a judge about the destination of the stored chemical in warehouse number 12. If genuine, it means the authorities there knew of the chemical's existence. Six years ago, the crew of the ship, mainly Russians and Ukrainians, were also abandoned in Lebanon. At the time, they named the owner as Russian national Igor Grushushkin, believed to be resident in Cyprus. If true, chances are he would have heard the explosion 170 miles away. That is the minutiae of the tragedy. There is, of course, another deeper layer of detail here. People and families poring over the intimacy of lives changed and lives lost.